This is for all the newbies out there. MLB The Show, Road to the Show, Diamond Dynasty, What's New? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. If you've been enjoying the MLB The Show 21 uh, content on me covering all the feature premieres, then go ahead, leave a like on this video, comment down below, and subscribe as well. Turn post notifications on, because I will be covering MLB The Show 21 news from now, leading all the way up to release, and then of course, I'll be playing the game once it does release. So we got a new feature premiere in regards to Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty, which is right here on MLB The Show's Twitter page, which if you guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and follow MLB The Show over on Twitter. This is the best way to stay updated on all the latest happenings leading up to launch right here. So there's a few things that I want to pull out of this feature premiere. So guys, there's something big coming to MLB The Show 21, and that is you will be able to, this is the first time that they've ever been able to do this, you're going to be able to take your Road to the Show player over to Diamond Dynasty. And uh, for anybody, you know, that's new coming into the franchise, because obviously we have all the Xbox players out there that are brand new, uh, I'm going to basically dumb this down for you all and go through it step by step because it can be very confusing. And yeah, let's go ahead and break down this feature premiere. So here it is right here. I'm going to play a clip for you all on this feature premiere that is basically announcing that for the first time ever, you will be able to take your road to the show player over to Diamond Dynasty in this year's game. For the first time ever, you can use your ball player in more than just Road to the Show. That means in Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty, you're gaining experience and growing your player in more modes and with more flexibility than ever before. So let's break that down. Yes, you'll finally be able to bring your Road to the Show player over to Diamond Dynasty. So the next thing in the feature premiere is you're finally going to be able to make your Road to the Show player a two-way player. So imagine a Shohei Otani type that can play both the outfield as well as pitch. Yes, you're going to be able to develop a two-way player that can, you know, play a position, be a position player as well as a pitcher. And that is what the announcement that we're getting right here. No longer are you stuck in just one role. Become a true two-way player. Earn and use player loadouts that will help you customize your ball player to play any position or take on any situation. A master of all trades, if you will. Ready? You know, I uh, trust you, Tatis. I'm closing my eyes. No, why would you close your eyes? So, you got it right there. A master of all trades. A two-way player. And... Guys, if you guys are confused about this, this is all brand new. Again, let me just reiterate, this is all brand new to the franchise. You never used to be able to transfer your Road to the Show player over to Diamond Dynasty or vice versa. Uh, there used to be, there is currently in the game what is called a creative, a creative player, what they call a cap in the community uh, for short. And that is basically your Road to the Show player in Diamond Dynasty, but they, they don't overlap. You can't bring... A creative player over to Road to the Show, and you can't bring your Road to the Show player over to Diamond Dynasty. They're two totally separate entities. A lot of people in Diamond Dynasty, they call their creative player... It's usually less personalized. It's usually just some kind of silly name. It's, it's just basically a... Oh, it's just basically like an ultimate team player that you just create on the spot. Okay, guys, so I have you over here in MLB The Show 20 and Road to the Show, and I just want to... Let me go ahead and back out to the menu, actually. So, Road to the Show is a completely separate game mode as to Diamond Dynasty. Diamond Dynasty is a basically my ultimate team in, you know, in Madden and in FIFA. You're building, e even NBA 2K series, you know, you're building your own creative custom team with cards in the game. You know, with legendary cards, flashback cards, they could be uh, live series cards. Uh, you're basically building the you know the ultimate team in, in Diamond Dynasty. So if you guys have played any other sports titles, you know exactly what I'm referring to. Road to the Show, however, is basically your own personalized player. And I'll go ahead and jump into the mode here uh, and load up. As you can see, I'm still in the minors. I, I lose interest, you know, a, a few weeks into the season. But uh, it's basically your own your own specialized creative player. Uh, 
all off by himself. And your whole point of this mode is to build your player all the way up to the major league. So right here, I think I'm in like single A or double A ball and I'm trying to build my way up. I think I'm in the Kansas City Royals farm system and uh, I'm a third baseman. I'm trying to build my way up all the way to the major league roster. So if you go in here, you can hit view roster and yeah, I'm underneath the Royals uh, farm system and here I am. So I'm in double A ball right now and the whole point of this game mode is to go ahead and eventually take over Hunter Dozier's, you know, spot on the roster or Michael Franco's spot on the roster. What but what makes MLB the show 21 so special is that you're finally going to be able to take this guy over to Diamond Dynasty, over to your Diamond Dynasty team. So let's go ahead and jump over to Diamond Dynasty so I can show you what's going on there. So here is the, my Diamond Dynasty team. And again, it's it's all, you know, it, it's all about creating the best possible team that you can. I don't play Diamond Dynasty very often, so my team's kind of, it's not that great. Uh, I don't have like any flashbacks or any, I, I just throw cards in here. I never really actually play uh, Diamond Dynasty, but uh, you're, you're building the best squad that you can with the cards that you're given. And there's packs and you can collect cards and you buy packs and uh, XP reward path. You you essentially get these packs as you just play the game. Uh, as you progress through the XP reward path, they they just they literally just give you cards. Like I can, what's my next reward? Let's just go up to my next reward. So my next reward is a, a show pack and then I can get a flashback or legend card, a high diamond. Uh, and you can kind of preview what are in these packs. Here's the preview for the high diamond. And, uh, you know, you, you just basically earn cards as you play through the game. But what is going to be unique to MLB The Show 21 is that you're going to be able to take that Road to the Show player that I showed you a little bit earlier and bring him over to this squad. So instead of Matt Chapman at third base, I could throw in my 90... If I'm totally grinding my Road to the Show player, I can bring over my 99 uh, Wesley Tabor and he can play third base for me. Another thing you could never do uh, in Road to the Show right now, with your Road to the Show player, you can see I have two secondary positions under my Road to the Show player, first base and left field. Now, when you originally create your Road to the Show player right now in the game, you're given the choice to add your primary position, which of course is third base for me, and then you can add secondary positions. I added left field. First base I did not add, I was actually put at first base for a few games via the coach's decision. So that's why you see first base there because I did register a few starts at first base because for whatever reason the coach decided to put me there. But uh, I could never have a two-way player, so I can't have a third baseman and a pitcher. But that's changing in MLB The Show 21, and as you guys saw in the feature premiere, you're going to be able to have a two-way player, a Shohei Otani type, uh, that can, you know, pitch as well as play right field or whatever you want. Uh, it's going to add a lot of dynamic to the game, the game modes. And then you're going to be able to, to take that road to the show player and then shift them over to Diamond Dynasty. Why this is such a big deal to the community is that a lot of players that do play Diamond Dynasty, and again, I'm not much of an online guy, but the people who do play online... The positions for a creative player kind of change, and you almost have to create, you have to continually create a creative player for different positions in order to fill different needs throughout the season. So, usually, you know, as the the season progresses and as the game continues on, you know, pitching might be a weak point in Diamond Dynasty. So, you want your creative player to be a pitcher. And then later on, maybe the weakest position for cards in the game is center field. So you want your creative player in center field, or it could be catcher later on a few weeks later. You see how as cards come out, there eventually becomes a, a what the community calls a, a weak position or a weak point on your Diamond Dynasty club. And that's where you want your creative player. So having a two-way player over in Road to the Show allows people just more options. It allows them more versatility, more options. And it gives the community, you know, probably more competitive gameplay because they can throw their road to the show player in. And not only that, as they're playing Diamond Dynasty, you know, they're they're getting more XP towards their road to the show player and just occurring that and eventually getting the road to the show player to a 99 overall quicker because, you know, you're able to play several game modes with that player. 
This is just to add into the video, guys. Uh, MLB The Show is also taking questions. If you have any questions about the ball player updates with the Road to the Show and the Diamond Dynasty overlap, you can also leave questions on this post for Sony San Diego Studios in hopes that maybe they'll answer something in the comment section or in a, in a future feature update or a feature premiere. So uh, it's worth a shot. You know, I'll probably throw some questions into this uh, thread, but uh, yeah, just wanted to throw that into the video. Even if you don't have a question for Sony San Diego Studios, you can just scroll through the comments of this and you're getting, you know, you have some guys that are really, really, really active in the community, like Fuzzy, for example. M. Frisk is on here. You know, you have some guys that, uh, you know, clearly have some questions. They've been playing the game for a long time. So you can see and kind of gauge what the community is wanting, as well as kind of what they're thinking right now. Because, you know, for Xbox players or for people that are brand new to the community, this is basically a reboot for us, too. It's, you know, a next gen console. They're really rebooting a lot of the game modes. Uh, a lot of us are just starting over from completely from, from zero. So, it's new to us, so let's uh, you know let's use e each other's questions and just kind of gauge where the community is at. That would be a good way to uh, do such a thing. So I hope that all makes sense to you all. Uh, this is a little bit of a longer video. I'm gonna have a heck of a time probably trying to edit it, but again, if you've enjoyed the MLB The Show 21 content, leave a like on this video, comment down below of any questions that you have. In regards to the Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty overlap, it's very confusing, and I'm not much of a Road to the Show or Diamond Dynasty player myself, so I play mostly franchise. Uh, so just leave your comments down below if you have any questions. And uh, subscribe to the channel, turn post notifications on, because again, I will be following all this news all the way up to launch in April. Until the next video, Tabor Time out. Peace.